Hello and welcome to another MBK Design product preview. My name is Annika, one of the creative team member, and today I will show you the White Christmas collection from December 2017. Uh, in this collection we have again um, templates, you can see them here. We have the weekly templates, um, here, for example, I will open one. The whole collection, collection is in white and has some golden um, splashes and this glow, stars, a lot of shimmer, all what we expect when we think on Christmas. So you can see you have the templates with this photo placeholders and every template has some um, um, splashes and little stars. This uh, glitter balls And now let's uh, let's have a look at this um, extra templates. They have more this artsy look, not the photo placeholder, but a lot of blending masks. And you can, <clears throat> of course, insert a photo in such a mask, or you can apply a style and make a non-photo page. So now let's have a look in the first folder. It has a lot of white elements in it. Some have this golden um, touch in it. We have um, like this one. I call it ready to go um, artsy bits because you have um, brushes in it. You have some real elements like the snow floke or a star and you don't have to do anything, just drag it on your paper and it's done. Then we have this nice element, for example. I will pick out some elements and show it a little bit closer. It has this glitter balls on it and all in white with a touch of, sometimes it looks like rosé and golden and silver. We have Christmas trees, different shapes, like some like this. Um, I will open a paper for you and we can have a look at the solid papers, all in um, light colors. Here are the one which I would say it's a little bit rosy and beige and white and I will open a more colorful paper that you can see the white elements a little bit better. For example this Christmas tree which has a little bit more modern look but we also have in the artsy bits number one the classic Christmas tree like this one, for example, it looks how we know the Christmas tree. Nice white with the stars in it. And we have some ready to go clusters like this one. It has a paint brush here and some gesso and some real elements and I think this is a very nice combination and just drag it on your paper. I will delete the Christmas tree and add a photo, some splashes or artsy bits and your page is done. And we have here again this um, paints 
looks like someone painted with a brush on a paper and again with some real elements. It's a nice cluster too. We have this artsy bits also with a snowflake here. It has this look of a wall behind. I will increase it a little bit so you can see it better. Now you can see it has this wall effect behind. And here is a nice one with a golden Christmas tree and also a, a little cluster with a gesso and a paint and this Christmas tree. Okay, then let's have a look at the artsy bits number two. Here we have these glitter balls, some have uh, this shadow here, so if you don't like to make shadows, then use those elements which already have a shadow. We have also this nuts here, they have also a shadow, how you can, uh, you can see it here. And it's super fast and super easy to create a page. You don't need to take care of the shadows. We have these branches here. And again, we have some Christmas trees. They are perfect to create a, um, a winter scene. And yes, different branches here. We have also a cluster again here with this reindeer and all with snow branches, perfect for winter pages. So let me delete this. And let's have a look in the next. This bubbles, which are the glitter balls in it. Very nice look. So they're beautiful with this ink and the little golden glitter outside. I think it looks very nice. Another one very elegant and I think you can create beautiful Christmas layouts. And we have these branches in it. Then let's have a look at the frames. We have some frames which comes as PSD files, which means we have different layers here. There are washi tape in it and the stitching in it and the overlay and the mask where you can insert your photo and of course like always if you have different layers you can hide some layers if you don't like them if you don't like a stitch in it then hide the stitch we have four different frames here then we have the gessos they are, looks like, again, like um, a paint with a brush. We have also chessels with um, a real element, like the snow flow here in it. And we have this PNG file. <coughs> which is also a cluster from um, gessos, paints and some real paper pieces. And now here are the paints. I think I don't have to explain. They are just um, paintings made with a brush on a paper. And we have the magic lights, 
which gives um, a beautiful shine on a page. So you can play with opacities and with blend modes. And also it's always worth to try to use the magic light as mask and insert a photo. So try it. Sometimes it looks really nice. So this uh, magic lights, for example, which have this um, strong glow you can put on top of a photo and play with the blend modes and you can enlighten uh, a photo with this method and if, if it's too much then only reduce the opacity and now let's have a look in the next folder we have a mini in it, it has some papers, it has a template, um, blending mask, for example. If you use the blending, if you want to use, sorry, if you want to use the blending mask, you can insert a photo, like always, or you can um, insert one of the mixed media papers, or you can apply a style. So now you have this nice blended effect, and there are also some beautiful elements in it and we have this glitter ball also nice it's like the other one but more another color and more transparent and let's have a look at the out of the box frames they are always beautiful and always give some nice effect. Test is out of the um, box effect. So you have two masks here and you can insert in both masks the same photo. You just have to duplicate the photo and clip it one time in this mask and the second time in this mask and it has a nice effect. But you can also instead of um, a paper in one mask or you can apply a style so we have four different different frames here and we have the page overlays you can drag it on top of a paper let's delete this layers here And now drag it on top of your paper. And now you can, for example, apply style. We have the uh, color styles here, the color swatch and the color styles. If I double click on my styles, they are loaded at the styles panel here and I can now choose a color and of course we can try to play with the blend mode for this we have to right click and rasterize the layer and now we can play with the blend mode too much makes no sense here, for example, something like this. So you can try if you find a blend mode which you like. So these are the overlays. Let's go 
go back to our page overlays, we have six different overlays. And we have the gesso paper. So how the name is gesso, you know it has this gesso effect on it. Some with colors here. I think those um, painted um, papers are perfect for blending. So you can give the white papers a little bit of color. So it's again something you have to try. For example, this one and you can reduce the opacity and your white paper has this color on it. And we have the mixed media papers which are very very beautiful in this collection. Some have splashes on it and the artsy bits and pieces and together with the real elements and you don't have to do a lot of work to finish your page just add a photo use the out of the box frame and i think this is enough to create a beautiful page and we have the solids here and we have also watercolor papers which are beautiful to create those scene pages if you extract something and you put it on your page you can create a nice scene Okay, these are the watercolor papers. And we have the story box here. They have a different size and are perfect to make some cards, for example. And we have, of course, word arts related to Christmas or winter. They have a nice font. And we have the wood slices, which have also a shadow. And in this collection we have of course some brushes and styles and I will quickly show you how the styles and brushes looks like. So I open just a regular solid paper. <clears throat> And we'll make a new layer. And now let's see our folders. We have here the folder with the brush tools. And in CC 2018, just double click on the brushes and they are um, installed here. Open your brush tool. And now you can see the MBK white Christmas brush tools or you can go to this wheel here and import or load brushes. So now let's try some of the brushes. You can see they give a very beautiful texture. Let's see the next brush. Again, 
this node and let's use this one and if you go <coughs> go to the brush settings you can see it has a shape dynam dynamic and some other options and shape dynamic is the size of the brush change okay and let's pick a last one so these brushes uh, gives a nice texture and for example now we will have a look at the styles let's see this folder with the style vintage also double click and they are installed at the styles panel or go to this lines here and load styles and we load the other styles too we have the styles mix double click and here they are and for example if we apply a style on some of the brushes well let's make let's try another brush for example this one and Okay, this is the wall and now we can apply for example this and we have a red wall now. So these are the brushes and the styles and we have this paint mix. Let's load this brushes. Go to your um, brush tool here I will make a new layer and now let's have a look on this paint mix brushes here some ha some have already a color and let's see the settings it has a shape dynamic and also a color dynamic let's see another brush for example this one it has um, also a shape dynamic as you can see it change it changes the size if you click click it's always another size okay and let's see uh, another this one with the color it has the orange color and it has this little dots in it also nice brush i think the brushes in this collection are really beautiful okay and we have also this uh, glitter ball and for example the glitter balls we can add style and we have also uh, i think we already loaded it the colors the color swatch and the color styles i will load it again so i can also apply just a solid color then we have this what styles here one with uh, effect and one with no effect um, let's 
load both into our style panel. You can see um, they look equal in the first at the first, but um, I will show you the difference. Uh, a simple um, Mm, yeah, mask where we can apply the styles just for demo. For example, we apply this style and we have the same style um, with no effect and with um, effect. So the first one here in this um, palette have no effect and the second one have this emboss effect here. You can see it outside. For example, this one with the hearts with no effect and here with the hearts with the effect is the emboss effect which is outside. And I think they are also really nice, especially I love the hard style uh, rigrag. And I think you can create really nice um, artsy bits or blended background with this texture. Yes, and that is what you can find in the whole collection. I hope you get a little inspiration and thanks for watching the video. See you. Bye.